Okay, so I'm hoping this is working. I'm trying out a screen recording setup. Uh, this week's video I want to focus on something I found out today, which is that Cakewalk Studio, which is now Cakewalk by BandLab, is now free. It was apparently bought out by this company BandLab from Sonar, and they're now Apparently offering it for free. Uh, I'm going to just try and download it and test it out I've never actually used Cakewalk before but I've heard of it. It was a uh, kind of a name brand that was very well known in the audio community several years ago I never had any interest in it before but since it's free we may as well see what the story is So hopefully now this will work Okay, so the first catch is that it's making you install some BandLab Assistant app. I don't know what that is. And you need to set up an account with this crowd. But we'll go ahead and see. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? They could steal my information, sell it to the highest bidder. Yeah. That could happen. Apologies for the audio. This room is still completely untreated. And we're sitting right beside... The microphone is sitting right beside the laptop, so you're probably hearing it click away. I still have to set up my, my desktop computer, which I custom built for studio work. Which is a lot faster. But... All in good time. Okay, apparently BandLab is the easy-to-use, all-in-one social music creation platform, which means nothing to me. But we'll just try and log in with Facebook and not give it any permissions. Hopefully I won't ever have to use it. Oh, it's making me do this. Okay, I'll try to connect with Google instead. Nope. Okay, we'll just set up an account. And now it's redirecting me to another part of their website. Oh, why are you asking me questions? Sign up for that, install that. Okay, they're not making it easy. Okay, I think the link should be at the bottom then, is it? So now it's free, Nope, that's not it. Oh, well, maybe I have to open the... Oh, okay, yeah, okay, it's in the band lab. App. They opened that website for no, f no reason. Okay, so now we're installing Cakewalk. Hopefully I can just ignore that account and never use it. And we're downloading. Well, that's downloading. Let's take another look at this nonsense. Right, what is this? this? This is supposed to be like a social media site for musicians, is what they said. 
plane. It could be like a modern take on the whole um, sound click, exposure type deal. Musicians patting each other on the back, I guess. And this kind of explains why Cakewalk is now free. They're using it as a marketing tool. So basically, you have to sign up to this new social network in order to get it. So it's driving their user base. But I have no interest in this. Two of five. Okay, we'll just fast forward this bit. <laughs> okay, so now we're installing. Let's see how long this takes. Yeah, you should probably install this using the advanced session or the advanced tool because um, it's trying to take a lot of permissions to open files and stuff like that. I, I don't want it to control MIDI and OMF by default because I'm still going to mainly be using Reaper. Okay, so we should be good. Okay, it seems to be installing a lot of MIDI patterns. I guess it's something like GarageBand, where you can easily create songs using, you know, pre-recorded stuff and pre-programmed patterns in MIDI, but we'll see in a few minutes. Okay, so that took a while, but it seems to be done now. I don't really want to view current release notes, so we'll finish. It comes with some version of Melodyne, which is pretty cool.
And I think this is the last piece. Cakewalk theme editor. Probably just add different themes to the, the layout of the app or the application or program. I don't like calling things apps. For a second there I thought it was going to make me update it after freshly installing it, which would have driven me mad. But no, this looks like it's finished now. I'm hoping I don't have to open it from this little app every time, but we'll do it for now. Okay, it seems to be okay. <clears throat> Just set it up with my mobile pre, M Audio mobile pre for the minute, and see if it works with the profile proper setup at a later later date. I don't even have that stuff here yet. be using analytics to improve cakewalk. Should we open a demo song? Why not? Um, I'll just hang on for a minute and see. Screwed, yes, why not? Oh, yeah, that's just because it hasn't finished its VST scan, but we'll just say that's all right. Okay, this seems to actually work pretty well. Um, so, what I'll do is I'll. Well, no. I don't want to get a copyright strike, so I'll just listen to it myself. Just to make sure it actually works. Okay, yeah, it's kind of, it sounds horrible, but it's all MIDI. But yeah, so there you have it. You can get Cakewalk Studio for free. Sonar Cakewalk, I don't know. Cakewalk by BandLab now, I suppose, is the official title. So thanks for watching, I might make another video trying to figure out how to use this since I've never used this doll before. So yeah, hopefully this worked out well, it's the first time I've used screen capture software. The sound is probably awful, I'll need to work on that. Set up my mic a bit better and set up the room some more. I'm working in the new studio room, which is still just really a room. I need to work on the tr acoustic treatment. But yeah, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and check back soon for more videos.